In this problem, we want to determine the amplitude of oscillation and the frequency of oscillation when our hovercraft collides with this spring. So the way that we're going to do this is with energy conservation. This is going to be a collision in which no mechanical energy is lost, the heat or sound. So we can start out by finding the kinetic energy of our hovercraft. Once we have that kinetic energy, we can set it equal to the potential energy elastic at the moment when the hovercraft is brought to rest. It will only be at rest for a brief moment, but during that brief moment, all of the kinetic energy will have turned into elastic energy. Our formula for elastic energy is one half the spring constant multiplied by the amount that the spring has compressed squared. So it gives us the spring constant it tells us the mass and the velocity. So use the mass and velocity in your kinetic energy equation. Solve for the energy. Put the energy into potential energy and solve for your delta x. Your delta x will be the maximum compression of the spring. That maximum compression of the spring is the amplitude of oscillation. To get the frequency of oscillation, we can use our formula for period of oscillation, and that's going to be 2 pi times the square root m over k. We know the mass, we know the spring constant. Remember, period is the time for one oscillation, so if we want the number of oscillations in a second, that is the frequency, we simply take the inverse of the period.